Hello everyone, welcome once again into another lap time challenge video and I believe this one is the easiest to get the gold. So we got the Ferrari Dino and I think it's going to be really really easy in this one. Why? Because the lap is only 104.0 which means to be in the 3% you need to be a 105.9 which is just about 2 seconds of dif difference which is usually quite a lot on such a short circuit and it's usually flat out. So here we got Sardinia 105.9 for the gold and yeah the leader did 104. Point oh. Let's see what the leader did so I can give myself kind of an uh, well kind of an idea what to look for But we don't have the world leader here. So I'm just gonna watch Tejni just to see what he did And okay starting with the lap. Let's see where he breaks. He's revving up forward gear Is it going to be okay there a little bit before the 150? That's quite a slide. Okay second gear on the way out third almost immediately he's not revving it up and this is the point most of this track is just flat out so you don't really have to do much fourth gear here turn again is he going to lift is it even a lift no it's not even a lift so up until here this is the breaking point i guess oh yes just a tap on the brakes nothing too much abuse the track limits and then once again we're gonna go to the left side of the track, use as much track as possible, fourth gear, okay, he's not gonna abuse that curb, a little bit of braking coming in here, don't wanna unsettle the car too much, second gear, is it gonna be third on the way out, no, it's still second, and up shifting into third, so we have, I don't know if I got it right, but I think we have just about three braking points in one minute, so I think this is gonna be really easy to get, 104.2, let's try to see what I can do. Yeah, it slides. It actually slides quite a lot. No braking balance. We got TCS, but we're not going to use TCS. And I also noticed that we got Comfort Soft Tires, which is never a good idea here. Okay. Breaking at the 200. Okay. Third gear on the way out, interesting. Fourth gear in. Don't. Don't. Okay. It is quite a slidey car. I think my force feedback will go higher. Well, that's a lot of sliding here. So the idea is not to stay on the brakes for too long. And that's, I think, what really works here. And yeah, I think I messed it up. And now let's begin with the guide. So here I have a couple of things that I would like to mention and only three breaking points. So this is one of them. It's the 200. So break in the straight line really be careful with the braking so you can see them starting to turn in just before the 100 this is i think you can go even a little bit wider than that and then second gear to rotate the car and you can see them just trying to manage the brakes a little bit maybe 20 30 percent when the car is turning otherwise the car will just start to slide a lot and i guess this is something that we are trying to avoid of course do not rev up this car that much it's only just a little rev and then the upshift is there so here this is the section where i had the most problems so cut it in very very early transition the weight starts very very early once again so you you're kind of thinking that you shouldn't be turning but you actually need to start turning at that point so here this is the stand where i usually start to break but make sure once again break in the straight line and then when you start to turn in with the car already you're on the power to stabilize that back end of the car so it's about breaking in the straight line and then when the car starts to turn in you want to keep that car under control and that's how you do it you do it by a little bit of power and that's it something like that even happens in here so you can see breaking in the middle of the curbs a little bit in the straight line the car started to slide you can see that i'm giving it a bit of an input on the accelerator and here this is 
if you can get the car in the straight line this is when you brake and then try to carry as much speed as possible with letting go of the brakes and then try to accelerate when you pass that curb on the right so it's only about braking in the straight line and letting the car do the rotation for you and if the car is sliding at the back end or if the back end of the car is sliding just give it a little tap on the power and just about 20 30 percent should do the job and in the end, I think it was a little bit more difficult than I expected, but I do have one advice. Never brake and turn at 100%. So it's always like a gentle tap on the brakes if you're turning in. And that's the only advice that I can give you. Carry the speed, never brake with this car. Only brake in the straight line though, and you only got three braking points. So this 105.9, I don't think it's that difficult to get. It might be, well, it might take a couple of tries, but eventually you will get it. So I got myself into 22nd place in the world as it stands. I know the lap time will go, gonna go down, but even if I get a top 100 by the end of the week, I'm gonna be pretty happy. So guys, once again, thank you very much for watching and until the next time, bye.